All right, so now we're going to go over cleaning and inspecting the ladder. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure our ladder is on a nice, clean level surface. Uh, we're going to grab a hose, and uh, the manufacturer's, manufacturer's recommended detergent. We're just going to take our hose. We're going to hose off the whole ladder at one side at a time, making sure we're getting inside of the beams, hitting the rungs, all the way to the butt first to the tip. Then we'll do flip the ladder. And we'll hose off the same, same thing all the way down from your beams, your tip, your rungs, down to the butt spurs. Um, next thing, when that's when you're all done washing, you're going to take your brush and your manufacturer's recommended detergent, dump it, it's piled up just a soap or a mild detergent, and you're going to scrub from the top, the beams, all the hooks, all the moving parts, scrub your beams, your rungs, all the way down, continuing all the way down the ladder until you're done. Once that's done, you can either grab a, a towel and dry it, or you can let it air dry. And then once that's done, it's all dried, the next thing you're going to go into is your inspecting. So the way that the best way to do it is to start at one end and work your way down. So we're gonna. So this is a straight ladder. So we're gonna look at our tips, make sure no, none of our screws or our bolts are loose, no welds or anything cracked. The beams in good shape. These aren't loose. We're gonna check our hooks. We're gonna deploy them, push in, turn, make sure they're they're in there pretty good. Same with these. Good. So we're gonna do that all the way down, checking our rungs, give a good twist of the rung. In the top, the middle, and the bottom section of the ladder, there's heat sensor labels. So make sure that those are in orange if they're black, if the ladder's out of service. So we're checking our, our beam, our rungs, all the way down, making sure they're all tight. Checking our rivets, our feet are good, they're not cracked. So we're going to flip the ladder, and we're going to do the same thing, start from the bottom all the way back up. If you find any abrasions to the beams, the rungs, any rungs are loose, welds are cracked, or the hooks don't deploy, we're going to mark it out of service, red tape, or however the department's procedures are with that, and we'll put it out of service. All right, we're going to go over cleaning and inspecting an SCBA. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure your bottle's off, your face piece is close, all the straps are extended. You're going to have a soft bristle brush and a manufacturer's recommended detergent. First thing we're going to just going to take a light hose, no pressure to it, rinse it off, starting at the top, make sure your straps are all clean, rinsing these off, come with these, make sure your knees are all clean, all the way down, making sure that your backpack assembly is all nice and clean, going down, you will have your brush with you while you're cleaning, so you can scrub this, it's a hard plastic, getting all your straps are extended, clean, once that's clean you can flip it over, Brush off your regulator, clean off your regulator, make sure there's no dirt and debris inside. Going back to your backpack assembly and your straps. And while that's that's clean, you can go over to your face piece. So the same thing with this is the manufacturer's recommended detergent. You're not going to want to use a, a hard bristle brush, more of a soft cloth, and not using a paper towel because it can scratch the screen. So make sure all your straps are, you can dunk this in water, spray it, clean it out, and then you can use some sort of disinfectant on it if you need to. And let that dry out. <clears throat> then once everything's clean, we're going to go into our inspecting portion of it. So once again, we all have our straps are fully extended. We're going to go ahead and use, make sure that they all function. Everything's good. We can check our connectors, make sure the seatbelt works. First thing we're going to do is start back down here, um, making sure that your connections here, the threads aren't busted, it spins freely, there's no strip threads, follow that hose up into your reducer, making sure that's not loose. And then going in, making sure your cords are good. It's tight, down to your regulator, and we'll check that when we hook up our air bottle. So now we got through that, it's all good. We're gonna go into our bottle. So when we check our bottle, we're gonna make sure that the threads are good on it, the bottle's full, and the hydrostatic test date is it within spec, which it should be. We're gonna go ahead and connect these. Once again, double check this. Turn this, make sure it locks down, it's good, everything's there. So once you got that all set up, you check that, we'll check this once we connect it to our face piece. 
So then we go into our face piece, make sure our straps are good. None of the rubber linings cracked. Your diaphragm's good in here. So we'll go ahead and start our, our hair pack. We're, we're listening for our audio bells, our vibro alert, which is in our bell here, and then make sure that this turns on. There's a digital gauge, and then there's an analog gauge. So we heard our bell go. We're watching our air gauge go up. We're gonna make sure that these are within 100 PSI or 10% of each other. The one thing that this pack didn't do is it makes a chirp sound to let you know that the pack is activated for your pass device. So in this case, this one didn't sound so we'd mark it. But to go on with the purpose of the video, we're just gonna keep going. So these are good, our gauges are within spec. The next thing we do is we wait for our audio alarms to go off. It should go with, start within 15 seconds and full alert at 30. So then we'll go into our face piece. Seal, there's no leak. Go ahead and connect this. Everything's really good, no air leaks. So there's our audio alerts. So we let that go into full alert. And once that's good, you can replace the pack back into service unless you have anything wrong with it. Okay, so for this video, we're going to talk about cleaning and inspecting an axe. First of all, with the axe, if it's a fiberglass handle, you want to take it and wash it with warm water and a mild detergent. So once it's all cleaned off, you can do an inspection. <clears throat> During the inspection, you want to ensure that the handle isn't cracked anywhere, that the grip is tight on the handle, and also that the head is securely fastened to the handle as well. When inspecting the head, you want to make sure that it's not cracked anywhere. You want to ensure that the cutting edge is sharp file it to sharpness by hand and then also if you find paint on it like this one you would take a file to it and remove that paint because it can hide any defects in the axe itself. Maintenance with the fiberglass to keep them clean. Maintenance with the head to prevent rust you can use a light machine oil and if rust is found you can use a soft pad to remove that rust and then re-oil. If any defects are found in the axe or the handle um, you can place it out of service a new axe. That's cleaning and inspecting an axe.